Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're going to solve this interesting triangle problem right here. So obviously we have a right triangle with vertices A, B, and C. And this length right here is three. But of course we have to use this information to figure out what the problem is asking. So it says, if the sine of angle B is equal to 3 fourths. What is BC? Of course, that is referring to this length right here. So this is definitely enough information to figure this problem out. And if you can solve this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct result in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna walk through the solution step by step. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so we're talking about basic uh, geometry, basic right angle uh, trigonometry, but let's go and take a look at the answer here uh, for those of you that are studying that level of mathematics. Again, we are looking for the distance of this leg right here, BC. And what is the answer? Well, the answer is equal to the square root of seven. Okay, so that of course is the solution. How did you do? Well, if you got this right, that is very good. Matter of fact, let's give you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and a few stars so you can tell your friends and family that you know exactly how to deal with right angle trigonometry problems. So this is what we're dealing with again is right angle trigonometry. So when you first start to learn about trigonometry, you learn about trigonometry uh, in terms of right triangles like this. And pretty much the first thing you start to uh, learn, of course, trigonometry is the study of angles, but one of the first things you really start to learn is about trigonometric ratios. These things here, sine, cosine, and tangent. So we're gonna be discussing this in the solution. And then of course you need to know something about right triangles, okay? I.e. a triangle where one of the angles is 90 degrees. And when you think of right triangles, you want to almost uh, instantaneously think of the Pythagorean theorem, which of course is a squared plus b squared. Which, uh, that is of course is equal to c squared. Okay, this would be side a, b, and c is always the hypotenuse. So this is what we're gonna be using to solve this particular problem. And again, uh, this level of mathematics would typically be introduced to those of you out there that might be taking like a high school level geometry course, right? A little bit of trigonometry is introduced in high school geometry. Of course, you take full trigonometry typically in courses like a pre-calculus course, okay? Now, there are some times when you would take trigonometry as a standalone course, but if you are interested in additional uh, help with trigonometry and the like. My full trigonometry is in my pre-calculus course and my basic right angle trigonometry you can find in my pre-calculus course as well as my geometry course. So just in case if you need additional help with this stuff. But let's go ahead and get into the solution here. And so the first thing we need to do is just kind of get our bearings with the problem. Of course, I kind of already explained to you what was going on. We're told that the sine of angle B Okay, so this is an angle right here. Angle B, of course, is angle C. And this is angle A, but we're talking about this angle right here. And we're told that the sine of this angle is equal to 3 fourths. And we want to know this length right here. So what do we need to do? Well, the first thing you need to do is to understand what is um, the sine of an angle. What's the definition of a sine of an angle? Let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, so here is a basic right triangle. So of course, this is very similar to the triangle that we're dealing with here. So here is angle B. Now you can see here, I have some uh, letters that are uh, uh, associated with these respective sides, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. So what is O? I'll start with this O right here, okay? Now for every right triangle, when we're talking about basic trigonometry, things like sine, cosine, and tangent, these are uh, basic trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios. You'll see why in just a second. But with uh, respect to angle B, okay, now I'm looking at this angle right here. What is the side opposite of that angle? Okay, well, it would be this side right here, 
Okay, this is the side that's opposite of that angle. All right, so we have to be able to label these respective sides when we're thinking about trigonometric ratios. So the side opposite from angle B is this side right here. Now, what is the side adjacent to angle B? It's this side right here. So we're going to label that with an A. And of course, our opposite side, we'll label that with an O. Okay. Now, adjacent means the uh, side that is right next to the angle. Um, effectively, it's um, helping to form that angle. Okay. So you can see the side opposite is not forming that angle, but the side adjacent is. All right. So just in case you get confused, because you can't get confused when you're trying to figure these problems out. You definitely need to know which is the opposite, which is the adjacent. And then, of course, the longest side of a right triangle, which is always opposite of 90 degrees, but you can kind of just look at it. The longest side is the hypotenuse, and we'll label that uh, H. Okay, so it's very, very important that you know where the respective sides are given a particular angle, and this could change, right? So let's suppose, for example, we're looking at angle A. Okay, if I said the sine of angle A is whatever it is, I'm looking at angle A and I'm thinking, okay, here is my angle. What is the side opposite of A? Well, it would be down here, right? What's the side adjacent to A? It would be right there, all right? So again, uh, these um, uh, legs and these particular um, these sides of these particular triangles all depend upon where your angle is at. So we're talking about angle B. So this is our opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Okay, so let's move on to this lovely saying right here. So Katoa, I'm pretty sure uh, even your great great grandparents probably use this saying. This has been around forever. And if you are not familiar with this saying, well, basically it's so Katoa. It's just an a memory aid, what we call a mnemonic, to help uh, you remember uh, the definitions for sine. Okay, so that's uh, S right there, sine. This C is going to be cosine, and that T is going to be tangent. So you can see we have O, H, A, H, and O, A. So we're kind of interested in these parts right here. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the definition of sine cosine and tangent. We're talking about trigonometric uh, trigonometric ratios. So here we go. So katoa. So the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse, O and H. Okay, so opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. All right, so you got to keep these in mind and they're easily confused. That's why anytime you're doing basic trigonometry problems, just go back to this lovely little saying, so katoa, and make sure you have the right ratios and make sure you have the right um, uh, legs of that triangle identified. Okay, so if you have those two, two things correct, then you're well on your way to figuring out the problem. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get into the actual triangle that we're dealing with. And let's just study it from this way. So here's angle B. Now I know I have the sine information, right? It says if sine, if the sine of angle B is equal to three fourths, but let's just think about angle B. It's right here. So the sine is what? Well, it's going to be so, or the opposite over adjacent. So this is the opposite side right there. I'm sorry, the opposite over the hypotenuse. And here is the hypotenuse. So in this case, the sine of angle B will be three over the hypotenuse, right? Opposite over the hypotenuse, three over the hypotenuse, or three over H. But we're told that the sine of angle B is equal to three fourths, okay? Well, the numerator is three, okay? And we know what uh, H is because the H is four, okay? So you can see the sine if the sine of angle B is three over four, that means this number in the denominator is in fact the hypotenuse. Okay, so H is four, right? So in other words, if I had a four right here and I said, what's the sine of angle B? You would say, oh, that's the opposite over the hypotenuse, three fourths. So this side, the hypotenuse is four. So now we have two out of the three legs. So now we're going to coast to the rest of the problem, i.e. the solution. So we know now what the hypotenuse is, given that information. So we got this leg right here, which is three, the hypotenuse, is, uh, hypotenuse, which is four. And the question is, 
what is side BC? Okay, this uh, distance right here, which is, of course, the adjacent. But we're solving for this uh, mystery side. We could just use a variable x. And what, uh, the way we want to solve this is to use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's go and do that right now. And pretty straightforward stuff. So we're looking for this side here, BC. So this is going to be 3 squared. Okay, well, here's the Pythagorean theorem. Kind of jumping ahead here just in case you don't know this. This is the Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared is equal to C, uh, C squared. If you are kind of shaky on any of this stuff, this is super important um, that you know how to solve Pythagorean theorem problems or right angle uh, right angle. Uh, triangle prompts, okay, which of course always, you know, almost always uses uh, the Pythagorean theorem. So you got to be really comfortable using it. So in this case, remember the hypotenuse is always our C value, okay? So these two here form the A and B, okay, which are the shorter legs of the triangle. So it's going to be 3 squared plus X squared. That's what we're looking for here is equal to 4 squared. So 3 squared is 9, so we have 9 plus x squared. 4 squared is 16. So to solve this basic quadratic equation, just uh, all I need to do is subtract 9 from both sides. I have x squared is equal to 7. So to solve for x, I take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to positive or negative 7. So we are dealing with distance here, so it's not going to be a negative 7. We'll throw it out that solution, and we'll just keep the positive square root of 7, not a uh, negative square root of 7, excuse me, that's what I meant to say. So uh, our answer is the positive square root of 7, and that is side BC. Okay, so in, in terms of the level of difficulty of um, you know this problem for those of you out there that are studying geometry or trigonometry, I would give this like a 5 out of a 10. It's not overly difficult. Of course, you're going to need to understand trigonometric ratios, Pythagorean theorem, and if you don't understand these things, well, here is how you fix or uh, any issues you're having in mathematics. Okay, if you want to get better at math, you need to understand the underlying concepts and skills. Okay, I know that seems like obvious, but what you don't want to do is just continue to do a bunch of problems. You're like, ah, let me just keep doing more and more problems. Go back, you know, watch a lesson on the Pythagorean theorem, watch a full lesson, let's say on trigonometric ratios. Get, make sure you have you know, a good set of notes, and then start to practice those skills, and then obviously you want to apply those uh, skills that you have to solve problems like this. Okay, so hopefully this video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.